Credit cards are the universal way to pay, whether you're shopping online or at the local grocery store. Apple Pay may be a great solution if you use a credit or debit card. Apple Pay lets you store credit, debit, and reward cards on your Apple device. In this video, I'll show you how to set up and use Apple Pay for purchases in-store and online. If we haven't met, I'm Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find value in this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell so you never miss when a new video is posted. Let's get started. Why would you want to use Apple Pay? Well, for one thing, it's safer than using a physical credit or debit card because your card number and identity aren't shared with merchants and your actual card numbers aren't stored on your device or Apple servers. They are giving you a secure and contactless way to make payments. Let's start with how to add cards to the iPhone or iPad. You can add eight cards to Apple Pay and use them across your various devices. But if you want to use Apple Pay on more than one device, you'll need to go through the verification process on each device. You must also have Touch ID, Face ID, or a passcode set up. If you don't, you will be prompted to set that up before continuing. So let's add our first card to Apple Pay. And to do that, we'll need to come into the Settings app and then scroll down until you see Wallet and Apple Pay. Select that. And now you'll see the options that you have for Apple Pay. I have Apple Cash turned on because I have an Apple Cash account. I have three different um, credit cards inside. I've also turned on double click the side button, hide expired passes. Um, if you have a transit card, you'll see it listed under transit cards. And then you have transaction defaults that list the card that you have as your default card along with uh, your shipping, email, and phone. And then I also have turned on uh, Apple Pay on my Mac. So your screen may look a little bit different if you've never added a card, but it may have just a plus sign there. Go ahead and tap on that to add a card. I'm going to go ahead and just tap on Add Card. Now, when I do, you come into the available options here. You can apply for an Apple card. You can add an Apple account, debit or credit, transit, or if your state allows driver's license or state ID, you can add that. So we're going to go ahead and just tap on Debit or Credit Card. You're going to get a little bit of uh, information about Apple Pay. You'll tap on Continue. And what you can't see here, because Apple uh, security-wise doesn't allow you to see this if I'm videoing it, is an area where it pops up uh, a camera where you would just hold your uh, credit card in front of the camera and it would scan your credit card. And it does a really, really good uh job of doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and scan my information and I'll pick back up um, right after I do that. So now I have my credit card information uh, in there. I'm going to go ahead and tap on next and it's going to tell me when my card expires and then I just need to add the security code which I will do and I'll tap on next again. And now it's talking to the card issuer and it's going to ask me to send a verification code uh, to my cell phone or to uh, another phone. I have to agree to the terms and conditions and now I should get a verification code and I can tell it which number to send it to. I'm going to go ahead and do that and you're going to see that the verification code comes in to my phone. It verifies it automatically. And in a second, we should see that the verif verification uh, is complete. And so now it tells me that my card is ready uh, to be used. And all I need to do is if I want to, I can set this up as the default card. I don't want to do that at this point, so I'm going to say no. And now you'll see that I've added an additional card to my Apple Pay. 
if you want to add Apple Pay to your watch, you'll come into the Apple Watch app. You'll scroll down until you see Wallet and Apple Pay. Choose that. And then you'll add the card just like you would inside of your iPhone. But if you've already added it to your iPhone, you'll see it listed below in the area where it says other cards on your iPhone. And if you want to add that, all you need to do is tap on add and that card will be added to the section in your Apple Watch. It may take a few seconds to activate it. So now it's asking me for my uh, security code, which I'll add. I'll tap on next. And it should, I believe, go ahead and add that. Yes. And so that's all you need to do is add your security code. And then it will go ahead and add that. And now it's activating the card. You can also add digital passes like um, uh, your COVID-19 vaccination or tickets to a sporting event or a concert inside the wallet app. So here's another place where you can add things to the wallet. So if I tap on wallet, and I come into the wallet app, you see the little plus sign in the upper right hand corner. If I tap on that, you can see that it takes us right back to the area where we can add debit cards or, or transit cards or any of those things. So that's another area where you can add your information. You don't have to do it through the settings. You can also do it through the wallet app. I'm going to close that out for just a second. And inside the wallet app, you will also see any digital passes that um, you, you have on your device. So if you've gone and, and signed up for a sporting event and they wanted to send you tickets digitally, this is where you would store those uh, tickets. You, you know, they'll have a code that you click on and all of those digital tickets will be added to the wallet area. So you might, you know, you might do it through email or you might do it through Safari, but you'll click on a code that is sent to you and then those tickets are added to the wallet. And as you can see, I have my COVID-19 vaccination card. I also have uh, e-tickets that um, stored here that I'm going to use in October to go to a concert that I'm going to go to. So that's, you know, this is a great place, the wallet, to store digital passes. If you want to use Apple Pay in a store, if the store is Apple Pay friendly, you'll usually find a logo on the door or somewhere near the register. And to use Apple Pay, you'll need your iPhone or Apple Watch and your passcode if you don't have Face ID or Touch ID set up. With Touch ID, you'll place your finger on the home button and hold the iPhone about an inch from the reader. You'll see a done along with check mark uh, when the transaction is complete. With Face ID, you'll double tap on the side button on your iPhone and glance at your iPhone. And again, you'll hold the iPhone close to the reader until you see done and a check mark appears. If you happen to be wearing a face mask, iOS 15.4 has you covered so that you can unlock your uh, phone with a face mask. Come into settings and tap on Face ID and passcode. Put in your passcode. And then you'll see uh, below set up an alternate appearance face ID with a mask. Go ahead and toggle that switch on. And if you wear glasses, you can add that. I didn't have to add it. It was already automatically added because it must recognize that I wear glasses. So go ahead and set that up. The last thing we'll talk about is how to use Apple Pay inside of apps. Uh, there are many apps now that uh, allow you to use Apple Pay, and I'm inside the Jersey Mike's app. And so, as you can see, I have a, an order ready to go, and below that order, it says buy with Apple Pay. If I go ahead and tap on that, you'll see that it pops up, tells me what credit card I'm using, and it tells me to double click on the side button to activate Apple Pay and pay for this order. Once you make a few payments using Apple Pay, you'll wonder why you hadn't used it before. It's easy, fun, and secure. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.